In the lesson this week, in Science and Health, Mrs. Eddy says, God creates and governs the universe, including man. The universe is filled with spiritual ideas, which he evolves, and they are obedient to the mind that makes them. Many years ago, the, a practitioner in this church gave me that statement. I had a young child who was very active, <laughs> sometimes disobedient at times, and uh, she said I needed to work with this statement and see this child as God's child and know that he had, could hear God's voice and be obedient to the mind that made him. I needed to do that work even before I took any disciplinary action because it, it was in my own thinking. How was I thinking about him? And it was a wonderful, I remember it was one of the first healings and experiences I had after coming to this church and working with this practitioner. And there was a healing of this disobedience. And I was so grateful for that and that the statement from Signs and Health has always meant so much to me. And I continue to use it to this day to know that all of God's children are obedient to the mind that made them. Um, and we can see it and know it in our government, certainly see it within ourselves, know that we are obedient to the mind that made us. Yes, family members, friends, the workplace. It's a, it's a good law and rule to enforce in our thought. And as we enforce it in our thought, we will see it. We will see God's purpose and God's plan unfolding and his obedient creation. I'm so grateful to Mary Baker Eddy for what she has given us in that textbook. We can apply it in so many ways. We truly have so much to be grateful for, and I'm certainly grateful to be here tonight.